How can you tell me, can you tell me the way the story ends? Damaged and broken as I am, I'm trying not to breathe. Unraveled, I'm not unraveled by the truth I finally see. Freeze. Unbreakable, unbreakable, unshakable, unshakable, unraveling since I found you. for the last time this year. Yes, this is our last podcast and sadly, us sixth graders will be moving on next year. We will miss all of you and all the friends we made here. I know what would cheer you up. What? There's all kinds of fun activities planned for this week. Really? Like what? Haley will let us know. On May 23rd, it's National Turtle Day. Sixth grade will also be hosting the Peaches Carnival. On May 24th, it's National Brothers Day. Grade 5 will also be having a movie day. And kindergarten will be having their water plan. On May 25th, it's National Sing Out Loud Day. Sixth grade will be having a banquet. It's also going to be field day. And grade 2 will be having water play. On May 26th, it's National Airplane Day. It's also our 14th annual fun run. And finally, the 26th is our last day of school. On May 27th, it's the last day of school for teachers. On behalf of the entire sixth grade teachers production, thank you so much teachers for this amazing school year. Have a great summer! Now back to Kaylee and Emma in the studio. Thank you, Haley. That sounds good, right? Next, we'll have Emma tell us about lunch. Monday's lunch is trail macaroni, coleslaw, steamed corn and edamame, and an orange. Today's lunch is hot dog and bun, tater tots, baby carrots, veggie steak, and pineapple. Wednesday's lunch is roast pork with gravy, rice, steamed broccoli and carrots, and fruit juice. Thursday's lunch is cheese pizza, salad, baby carrots, and craisins. Friday's lunch is popsicles! Just kidding, there will be no school because it's the start of summer break! That made me hungry. Yup, it was my doing. Now it's my turn. I'm going to tell everyone about the Peaches Mindset. Let's see it. to deepen my understanding. I explore to make connections. Thanks for the tips, Kaylee. You're welcome. Now it's time for bloopers. Uh, I mean, foods around the world. Huh? Oh yeah. Take it away, Chelsea, Brenna, and Tasha.
哈。I feel like I'm saying this. Go, go again. Yeah. Good job. We will meet up with some of you. Now. Oh, ow! Oh, my shit. <laughs> Have a great spring break. Uh-huh. Um, what are you doing? I'm in the middle of a broadcast. What are you worried about anyway? Einstein, did you know he was a musician? No, I thought he was a scientist. Well, that's what people know him for, but he actually played the violin. Let's have the second graders teach us more about famous people. Albert Einstein was born on March 14th, 1879. Abraham Lincoln was born in 1809. John Lewis was born in 1940. Martin Luther King Jr. was born in 1929. Kopana Chawala was born in 1962. Benjamin Franklin was born in 1706. Zappa Korea was born in 1788. Alexander Hamilton was born in 1755. Andy Todd George Washington spent his life on a farm. As a child, he did lots of chores and loved to read books. Albert was good at math and science. Harriet started working at six years old. As a child, he enjoyed nature. As a child, he learned about machines. He made sundials, windmills, and clocks. She dreamed of one day going into space. Some of the struggles George Washington faced were the Revolutionary War. People thought that she couldn't fly a plane. Some of the struggles Mary Musgrove faced were keeping peace between white colonizers and Creek Nation. Todd Beamer was hijacked by terrorists on September 11. He couldn't talk well and had a bad habit about repeating sentences. When Malala went to the school her father opened, soon the Taliban took over. When she was a child, they shut down more than 100 schools for girls. His ship was captured and he was put in jail. Overall, got into the airplane and proved that people could fly. He worked his way up to the highest military position. First computer program of women. Maria developed more than 20 inventions. Many people read his writing and talked to people about his ideas. She was the first Indian woman to go into space, chosen to help write the Declaration of Independence. Her invention won the 2013 Google Science Fair. She made white kids and black kids go to the same school. He was the first president of the United States. Because of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., people have equal rights. Because of George Washington, we get to vote for our president. Can you say Malala helped girls go to school? Queen Elizabeth II changed the world. His studies of light shaped the science of optics. To this day, because of the Wright brothers, we can travel the skies. People remember him as a great leader, people remember Sacagawea for her strength and courage. Abraham Lincoln helped end slavery, and that was the biggest accomplishment. Because of Mo Willems, he makes us laugh, and we have a special place for his walk in our hearts. Interesting info. Yep, thank you, second grade. Now we have Ren tell you some cool facts. Did you know some are different? <laughs> Did you know that summer is commonly believed to be for students to work on their family farms? But this theory has been proven wrong because it wouldn't make sense. Planting and harvesting normally happens during the spring and fall seasons, so the students are needed to work during the summer. There's another theory that makes a bit more sense. During the summer, wealthy families living in the cities like to travel to escape the heat. It's also very expensive to have year-round school. 
By the way, summer vacation did not widely exist until the 19th century. Did you know that one summer festival is Obon? <laughs> did I say that wrong? Did you know that one summer festival is Obon? Obon is a festival in Japan that is held in summer. It is a Buddhist tradition that was meant to be a way to call or guide ancestors back home. It is a three-day festival that involves burning incense as well as dancing to drums. <laughs> Did you know that yet another quite interesting summer festival is called La Tomatina? This is a fun festival where a bunch of people throw overripe tomatoes at each other. That's kind of it. Although, after they washed off all of the tomato, the acidity actually did help clean the streets quite a bit. Our summer break is about 66 days long. However, other countries have different summer break lengths. One of the shortest summer breaks is in Korea, as their summer break is only four weeks. Meanwhile, Portugal's summer is 99 days, depending on age. Hey, that's almost 104 days. Bye, have a nice summer. Woo. I learned something new. Thank you, Anne. Yep, same. But now it's time to end this broadcast. Aw, it's okay, Emma. Lana and Haley have been working on a video for us to say farewell on the features. Let's see what they made. I'll always be thankful for all my friends and family at Peaches. I'm most thankful for I at Peaches is meeting my new friends. I'm thankful for all the Peaches. Thankful for my family and friends at Coast City Highlands. I'm thankful for my friends, the teachers at school, and the activities we get to do at school. I am thankful for all of my friends that I have and the teachers that taught me. I'm most thankful for my teachers and friends. I think the thing I'm most thankful for in Peaches is just the people and all the friends I've made because it's really nice to have that social community and stuff like that. I'm thankful for my friends at Peaches. Well, I'm thankful for my school community. I'm thankful for the nice uh, thank you. Thank you, Peaches. Thank you. Thank you, Peaches. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> thank you, Peaches. 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 sentimental. Thank you, Haley and Lana. Now it's time to end this broadcast. Goodbye, Peaches, and we'll miss you!